Hello, I hope you're all doing alright. So, obviously, relates and a few other things have just been released this Wednesday for me with his living in the UK. We get it a day later than America. So, my first plans were to get myself stuck in, get both of the world bosses down, see if I can get a little bit of a item level increase before I go ahead and start with Ulduar. Um, so I done the first world boss to expect it and not really get anything but I must have got lucky because I was speaking it with a few of my friends and they said that I actually didn't even get any drops from either of the bosses so the first one I managed to get a 355 trinket which wasn't bad at all and then I went over to do the second one which I thought was a bit daft because poor Horde didn't even get the chance to get this one since um, we controlled the first and I had to control the first and I ended up getting the chest piece. So that was a good little increase before I went to do raids. Now I do have to apologise. <clears throat> when I first done the raid I completely forgot to record the first boss but don't worry I didn't get any drops from him anyways. The only thing I got was the the crafting regent um, and that was it. But I did manage to first time it, it didn't take a couple of attempts, it only took one attempt, whereas for Mother, it took us, I think, I don't remember, about two, maybe three times. We're just going to go ahead and ignore what happens here and just acknowledge that the team carried us. There we are. And we managed to get a ring as well, which was really cool. So that was three bits of gear already. Boosted it to about, I think it's three, seven, uh, four, seven. I go to after I equip that. I'm not too sure. And then don't even start with Vectus. Oh my god. What well, on Vectus for quite some time. Uh, I, I just, the team just couldn't seem to do it. So that was before I went to work. I was stuck on Vectus for being about four or five wipes and I just had to code it because I was going to work. But then when I came back, I managed to do it first time again. I forgot to hit the record button. I'm sorry. And then we jumped onto the Devourer, which we just managed to easily do first time with the same group that I managed to do Vectis. And I didn't get any drops, aside from the fact that me just getting one hit randomly was a bit weird. But obviously it was something to do with ignoring the ads, because we were just trying to clear the boss before it killed everyone, which was a bad idea. And again, didn't get any drops off Vectis or this boss either. Now Zekfo I didn't have any problems with at all, it was just a long fight, um, I think all you had to really do on this one, I can't remember it fully since we've done it first time, is you just had to clear our ads and make sure you don't stand in that AoE purple thing, so he wasn't too bad to be honest, um, at first I made a little bit of a mistake because I thought it was going to go inwards, but I was like oh it's not, so I just jumped through it, and then didn't step in it at all after this time. But so far I've been enjoying the raids, um, usually I'm not much into PvE but I've had a lot of fun with it and they've been a little bit difficult but not too hard, I haven't made them insanely hard at the minute, aside from the second last boss, we struggled on that one a little bit. Well in fact I haven't even downed it as far as this video comes so far but I will down it before Wednesday comes around. So anyways, we got down Vec, or Zek rather. And again, I don't believe I got any loot, um, nah, nah, I remember now, I didn't get any loot. Which is a shame, but we did manage to get our achievement, which is absolutely amazing, so for next time, we've got it for linking in and saying that I've completed certain parts of the raid. Now this, Zul, oh my god, I was tilted after playing Zul, so we're wiped on, I, I'm going to go ahead and say that's about... 13% maybe not even that maybe about 7% that was a bit annoying and then we're wiped again or about 15% maybe about 20% I was like oh dude this is getting so annoying because each fight's about what is it 7 minutes maybe 6-7 minutes when he's not doing it the first time and he's haven't quite got gear yet you've got to think we didn't really have much gear we've only got 368 and I was like alright at least I think this was about the fourth time I'm getting on this slot. I was like, yeah, this time we've got him. I mean, he's, we're struggling a bit. It's going to be close because we've just lost with tanks. But, I mean, you're not going to wipe on this much health, right? Just got about 5% uh, left. Let's just smash him down. And then all of a sudden, he drops. Then the mage drops instantly after. And I'm like, oh no. It's got real. 
And I'm like, well, if everyone does DPS, one mil health, I can do that bloody by myself, man. But it's just running all over the place and all you get onto them. So, yeah, we end up wiping one more time beforehand. Which I was a little bit upset about. Because, I mean, look how close it was to dying. It sucked. But I knew we'd get them next time, which we managed to do. And I think I probably could have got him maybe if I didn't get feared there, or both of didn't get feared. I probably could have downed him by myself, but unfortunately that didn't happen. So this attempt, we managed to get him done. Uh, what we tactically started to play with was just tank the ads on top of Zul and just AOE them down, but obviously kind of target them a bit harder than what you would with Zul. It seems a lot easier when you start to AOE all the ads on top of them rather than trying to kite them away and run away and try and smash them down instead of just AOEing them all down. So that seemed like the best tactic for us. I don't know if you all feel the same way, maybe you've tried something else. But do let us know down in the comments below how you've managed to down Zul. Because I think he was probably on point with Vectis. Maybe I would say it was probably a little bit harder. Probably just because of the longer fights and having to wipe on um, like 10 and 15% constantly. Maybe that's why I feel like it was a bit harder. So anyways, I would love to know how you are getting on so far in Old War. And if he's have completed already. I mean, you probably have by now. I think we're coming on to Friday for me. It'll, I think I'll be uploading this video on Friday. So I'd imagine the majority of people have... Um, cleared it now and managed to finish the full entire raid. I mean I'm on to the second last boss still because I haven't done any raid and I've been at work so on the first two three days I managed to get my second last boss and I haven't had time to complete it yet so I'm probably going to complete it when I come back after the weekend. I think that's going to be my best time since I'm going to have a lot of spare time. I'm going to be off for a week so I'm going to probably get this one done and then I'm going to start on the Mythic Plus and continue doing arena because I'm not climbing the arena scene but I'll save PvP for the next video because it'll be quite lengthy if I put the PvP and the um, stuff I've been doing in so far with that in this video but I've been climbing the arena scene don't worry I haven't just completely turned it into a PvE player but I've been enjoying it so I'm gonna keep continuing to try and get a little bit more PvP done on the side and see if I can't gear up and get mythic plus done i don't know how far through the mythic plus i'm going to get because obviously i'm going to come back on sunday monday it's not going to give us that much time to try and get it all complete but i am excited to see how much i can get done so if you've enjoyed the video let us know down below i hope you stay airy and i look forward to seeing us all in the next video thanks for watching and goodbye